The 240 bow rider is actually the, uh, the entry level boat into the bow rider sun sport super sport line. Uh, it's a really versatile day boat, the way the whole line was conceived back in the, with the 280 oh, in the you know, late 80s, early 90s was as a open cockpit concept so that people could really enjoy the boat, you know, out on the, their daytime. You know, that was what we started calling it was a day boat because uh, we realized that a lot of people wanted the open cockpit concept because they didn't necessarily overnight. So this is the entry level boat. Right, well, exactly. You can imagine how it goes up from here. Yeah, it's a, uh, it, it really uh, expands on the basic concept here. Scott, one of my favorite things on this boat is this rearward facing chase lounge here, but it's also convertible. Can you show me how it works? Sure thing. You actually just pull a pin, bring the forward one down, push that into position, and there you go. That was pretty tough. Yeah, that quick you can have a sun pad. Scott, one of the, my favorite things that you guys do is the clean look you give the cockpits. Uh, tell us a little bit about the styling here. Well, you know, this is kind of, I guess you'd call it classic Sun Sport, Super Sport, Bow Rider styling for us. Uh, everything's nice and ergonomic. As you said, it's open. Uh, it's got a few, you know, updated touches as John sees the trends going from, from year to year with the, you know, perforated vinyl and so forth. Um, you know, one of our ma mantras is make it as useful and, and beautiful at the same time as you possibly can. So you're going to see touches like you notice the multiple cup holders, stainless steel finish. Uh, it's got the Corian on the wet bar, which is going to be found throughout actually the whole formula line. Is that a standard or an option? This is actually an option this year. You know, we've gone with a little bit more of a philosophy of let the people have what they want, give them a little bit more of a choice. So uh, you might see a jump seat in this 240 bow rider now. Uh, so, so that's a as you like it type of thing. I love the sculpted carpet too, that gives it a nice look. Thank you. That's been a, one of the updates that John put in it a couple years ago and it really makes it more contemporary and almost gives it a, I don't know if I want to say a household look, but it gives it that quality uh, stylishness that you want to see. Right. Scott, I love this new uh, Samson Edge tower you have here with the speakers. We were jamming at the dock here a little while ago. It rocks pretty good. What a great new look. Yeah, it's really cool. It was a it's a brand new one for us this year. We've had a, a wakeboard tower before, but it didn't have all the features this one does. It, you know, it breaks down and folds down for you, and um, it does have racks with it that are standard. We just don't have them on here right now. Uh, this one is actually kind of the top line we go with. It has the, the, the mirror on it. It also has these lights here that are adjustable. And one of the really neat things about it is, uh, you can't see it from the camera angle now, but these are actually can speakers. Uh, it's got a tweeter, and and then the, uh, the mid and, and woofer up in here all in one. Wow. But the really neat thing about it is, well, it's adjustable. It goes around like this. And then also, if you could go ahead and pull this pin here for me. Nice. Take them right off and take them home with you so you don't leave something tempting at the dock. So Yeah, they're a pretty hot item on the uh, theft rings there. Yep, so, so that's a really kind of a cool thing. Nice. Scott, what a great helm setup. I notice you have the Pro Series Perfect Pass here for skiing. Tell me a little bit about that, if you will. Well, you know, it's just something that, that takes a little bit of the, the labor out of the driver's hands. Uh, basically, it enables you to set a certain speed that you know that you want the person skiing at or planning at, and it'll take you right to that and maintain it. So it's just a, a, a little bit of a luxury, I guess. I, I know those say. wakeboarders are pretty picky. They want 18.4 miles an hour, which is kind of hard to do, uh, especially if you've had more than one cup of coffee in the morning, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> I hear that. Of course, you have the easy to access uh, head and compartment in here. Why don't you show us that? Yeah, this is, a, this is something that, you know, you don't often think about showing off, but uh, it's very functional. You can see that it's got a lot of room in there, nicely finished, uh, even has a grab rail in there, too. And, uh, this door, this is something we actually make in-house that we've been working with for a while and it's transferred over to a lot of the other small parts that we've got. It's a, a two-part finish. You can see the outside, which you'd expect, but also the inside. Really clean look and it doesn't rattle at all. It's yeah. rock solid. I was going to say with the piano hinging and that one piece, it is. It's, a, it's, it's benefited the whole boat, really. Scott, man, you're two pretty big guys, but we fit pretty well up here. Nice and roomy. Yeah. It's a... Uh, it's a plenty big bow rider for 24 feet. You know, there's a lot built into it, and, and we're careful to make plenty of room to be comfortable in the amount of people that you can put in here. 
I think we could even invite a couple of friends if we had any. Very roomy, and you also have an option to put in uh, uh, cushions and make this a full sun lounge as well. Nice. Uh, notice you have a beach boarding ladder here too. That's uh, pretty handy if you don't like cold water like I don't. Yeah, exactly. It's a, This is an option, but it does come in handy. It just extends out. And like you say, if you, if you don't want to get neck deep in the water, it, it comes in handy. Just finished testing the Formula 240 Bowrider. This is their entry level boat, if you can believe that. Great workmanship, loads of features. Got the new wakeboard tower, which is really awesome. Throws out a nice wake with this uh, 5.7 Volvo GXI engine, 320 horsepower, about 48 mile an hour top speed. This boat handles great. For more information on this boat, check out boatingworld.com and we'll see you out on the water.